What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, where today I'll be reviewing the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Yellow Ranger and Mighty Morphin Scorpina. All right, let's get right into it. So here is Yellow Ranger and uh, Scorpina. And uh, I bought this from Amazon. It was delayed, I don't know, I wanna say maybe a month or two. It was a, a big delay and you know, cause of the COVID thing and all that stuff. So everything's delayed, Marvel Legends, all the figures I've bought from them are delayed. And even uh, Hasbro Pulse has been having some issues with that. Uh, so these guys, these two pack is, is kind of funny because I don't think they've ever met these two in the series, Aisha and uh, Scorpina. I think by the time Aisha came, she was dealing with Lord Zed and all his crew. And by the time she came, uh, Scorpina and all those guys, Rita and her crew were all gone. So I'm pretty sure they never met actually in the series. I'm pretty sure on that. I don't know for sure, but uh, it's just kind of funny that they would include them in a two pack when they never even met before so so anyways uh the yellow ranger comes with uh two blast effects the very nice looking aisha head very nicely detailed uh the two power daggers uh the blade blaster in uh sword form the blade blaster itself and the two additional hands. Scorpina comes with her little boomerang thingy. The lightning blast effect. And two additional hands as well. So here is a closer look at the Yellow Ranger. And she is pretty much identical to the Trini Yellow Ranger that we had way back in, I think, I don't know which wave, but it's a couple years ago or so. But if you notice, the, the yellow on this figure is different from the yellow on Trini. Trini was more of a uh, canary yellow, and this one, Aisha's figure, is more of a lemon type yellow. So you'll see that in a second when I compare them. Also, the silver on the mouth is a lot more detailed. A lot better looking, to be honest with you. Uh, the morpher on the belt is more detailed, although it kind of still looks eh, to be honest. The only really complaint I would say is it doesn't come with the uh, slingshot blaster, but that's not really, you know, that's just really nitpicking. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's this little thing. This is actually from a superhero figure arts Power Ranger figure. I don't think any of them have come with this. I can't remember. But it's it's like these little slingshot thingy. This is the attachment that comes to the bl blade blaster thingy. So not a big deal at all, but you know, would have been nice. So taking a look at Scorpina, uh, this is an absolutely beautiful first timer in the Lightning Collection and man, they really nailed it out the park on this one. This is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful detailed figure. I mean, the head sculpt looks absolutely amazing. Details, paint apps, they're really, really nice. The only thing I really could think of that, you know, a negative on this figure would be maybe it doesn't have an alternative head, but again, that's another nitpick. It's not, not a really a big deal. This figure is just a really good, good looking figure. So it, I mean, that's really nitpicking. So, so here are the two yellow Rangers as promised, uh, comparing them. The left is the, uh, Trini version and the right is Aisha. 
And I don't know if you can tell, but the yellows are different. I don't know if you could see. This one is a darker yellow than the Aisha one. And as you could see, the mouth piece is more detailed on Aisha's version than on the unpainted version of Trini's, which is really weird. I didn't even notice that, to be honest with you. The belt buckles slightly different, more details. Although they still kind of, you know, they don't have like, you can't really tell the uh, saber tooth tiger symbol on them. So <laughs> it doesn't really matter. I mean, slightly better version though on this one. Other than that, they're both the same figure. To be honest with you, I prefer Aisha's more updated yellow, more lemon yellow than uh, the previous version. But I mean, if you have the older version and you wanted to stick with it, it's still fine too. And here is uh, Scorpino with Goldar and Rita, just for a little comparison shot. They look, <laughs> they look really good together. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be getting Finster at some point later, I think next year or who knows, it might come out this year. It depends on their distribution or whatever. Um, I would imagine Squat and Babu are gonna come out eventually in a two pack at some point, probably, probably very soon, I would imagine. But you can almost bet on that one that they're gonna be releasing a, another two pack for them. So. Can't wait for them. So the pros and cons of the two pack Yellow Ranger and Sorpina. More detailed Yellow Ranger. Uh, more accurate shade of yellow on the Yellow Ranger. It's more of a lemon. I love that. Um, head sculpts on both of these figures are absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing first time of Scorpina. They really nailed it out the park. For the cons, uh, no slingshot weapon. Again, that's nitpicking. And alternate head for Scorpina, another nitpick. Not really a big deal to me, to be honest with you. But, yep, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this review, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video.